Hi, my name is Joseph Parker, the WBA champion of the world, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Now, you may or may not be aware that on Saturday the 15th of December at the Brentwood Centre, Frank Warren presents Daniel Dubois in a headliner. And we've known this for about a week or so now. Of course, I reported that news to you guys not so long ago. But now, today, I've just seen on Daniel Dubois' Twitter feed that he now has an opponent, Razvan Kajanu. A lot of you guys will remember him. In fact, his last two fights he has lost, but he has lost two serious opposition he lost in new zealand to joseph parker he went a distance with him of course he was joseph parker's sparring partner when joseph parker was originally supposed to take on huey fury in new zealand before huey P fury pulled out of that fight so razvan kajanu was the sparring partner for um joseph parker so he was mimicking if you like huey fury style to prepare joseph parker that fight didn't didn't come off as a last minute replacement to keep the fight on in new zealand razvan kajani stepped in as joseph parker's opponent so of course razvan kajani he got a wbo world title shot um then he took off one hell of a long time and only a couple of months ago he took on lewis king kong ortiz this was Luis Ortiz's comeback fight since losing to Deontay Wilder and he got done in two rounds by Luis Ortiz. So anyway, this is Daniel Dubois' 10th pro fight. So as far as opponents go, it's not a bad shout. Okay, can't hate on it. Is it a headliner? Maybe yes, maybe no. I mean, it is a Brentwood Centre, so it's not exactly a huge show. And it does give Daniel Dubois experience of headlining a show because ultimately that's what frank warren is going to want going forward and of course the british public of course who believe in daniel dubois they want that going forward now daniel dubois in his last fight he did go the distance with kevin kingpin johnson which was a bit of a shock for a lot of people to be fair um especially as kevin johnson threw hardly any punches he, i think he averaged about three punches per round if that and Daniel Dubois, he showed that he can go the distance. For me, I wasn't too disappointed with the fact that he went that far over 10 rounds. But I was a little disappointed that he didn't stop him in the later rounds. I wanted him to get a few rounds. It's all going to help building up. So anyway, Daniel Dubois versus Radvan Kajanu. Now, Kajanu, 16 wins and 4 losses. Two of those by stoppage, of course. But out of his 16 wins, he has stopped 9 opponents. Now, his 4 losses, as I said last time out against Luis Ortiz back in July and then in April time or May time I forget when it was um, in 2017 in New Zealand against Joseph Parker as I said and he did get stopped by Donovan Dennis back in 2015 and way before then his other loss was actually his pro debut where he lost on points um, over a four rounder so he's not a bad opponent to be perfectly honest I mean outside of his losses most notably the last two, Lewis Ortiz and Joseph Parker. He hasn't really been in there with anybody of any kind of great note. But still, still, it's not a bad one considering this is Daniel Dubois' 10th pro fight. Not bad at all. So certainly one to, one to be watching. Um, again, I know maybe a lot of people may compare him to Lewis Ortiz. Could he get him out of there within two rounds to compare him? Um, could he get him out there before... Um, the, uh, the distance like uh, Joseph Parker couldn't do. Again, you see, people will weigh up this kind of thing. For me, each fight is different. Every single fight is different. Depends on what Radvan Kajani turns up on the night. Against Joseph Parker, he was motivated and, and he knew Joseph Parker. He knew how Joseph Parker was going to fight. Parker didn't know how Kajani was going to fight because he'd only ever been sparring Kajanu as he's adopting the Huey Fury style. Um, against Luis Ortiz as well. Again, I mean, he'd been out of the ring for over a year. So, listen, it is what it is. So, anyway, that's the news. Daniel Dubois, Triple D, would in fact take on Radvan Kajanu of Romania on Saturday the 15th of December at the Brentwood Centre. You drop your thoughts below about it, click that thumbs up, and of course, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.